Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cross Patching. Now today I want to take a quick break from making sequencers and make another voice macro. I see that a lot of you have enjoyed the Buchla 200 voice of the complex oscillator, but today I want to look at the grandfather of that oscillator, which is the 158. It is a Buchla 100 oscillator. They also make this in Eurorack format, but we can also reproduce it in VCV and it gives you this classic old school 1960s modular synthesizer tone. Now what we need are two VCOs and we're just going to be using the standard VCO 1, 1 and 2. And we need a little crossfader. We are going to be using the mixer and feed sine tone into input A, and the saw wave into input B. Do the same thing with the other one. Now the 158 oscillator was one of the first voltage controllable oscillator available. And it was also the first oscillator where you could actually sort of blend in waveforms. I know that there's the Moog 901 that could do that as well, but you can debate which came earlier. What is interesting about this oscillator though is it's FM. Most oscillators, and especially today, are using linear FM. This one is using exponential FM which is going to be a very, very cool sound. But let's continue with our voice. Now, we're not going to be using a filter nor a low, low pass gate in this one, because we're gonna be just be using two VCAs. And we can use the standard one. There we go. And we wanna have two of those. And in order to control them, we need a dual envelope. We're going to be using the NISTGE dual envelope. And what is interesting about this envelope generator is that it is really more of a function generator. What is the difference between a function generator and an envelope generator? Let me connect this here real quick. Is that with a envelope generator, the envelope is really only as long on as long as you hold it with this, unless with a function generator, when you click the button or just activate the function, it goes all the way through. So you can see this here, right? Okay, cool. Now let's set this all down. So we have only the sine tone and we're at the lowest frequency. Let's connect the second envelope here. Make it snappy. And connect this one here, this one here, and this one here. Now, just as in the other Buchla voice video, we're going to be sequencing this with the SEC3. row one to our first oscillator, row two to our second oscillator, and we're now taking the output of the mixer of the oscillator two and connect it to our FM input. Let's connect the gate to our First dual envelope, randomize it, maybe get some more sensible steps in here so it doesn't go all overkill, and let's see what we have. Sounds already 
pretty bouclage. But with that FM is where the magic comes in. Let's make it a little faster. And now we can bring in our second oscillator. That I need to connect to the gate first, though. And we can now cross-modulate. enjoyed this episode. This time it was a little shorter, but there's a lot of mystique about the Buchla 100. And maybe this will help you to understand the whole Buchla mentality a little better and have some fun with freaky sounds. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye! <laughs>